I'll now give the floor to David Coburn on behalf of the EFTD. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Well, I hope that's not the case for much longer, and you will not be able to do that for Great Britain. We'll be out of this nonsense. But this draft report urges a, the Commission to introduce a common consolidated corporate tax base, a thoroughly bad idea which will make business in the EU less and less competitive incre and increase the size of the state. The harmonisation of corporate taxes across the EU might seem a means by which to stop large multinational companies taking advantage of the single market to reduce their tax liabilities. But the real purpose, ladies and gentlemen, behind these proposals is to increase taxes. Let's not forget that ultimately it is the individual consumer who pays more. Companies simply pass on the cost of taxation to the customers. Countries with high tax economies like socialist France cannot compete with countries which have lower corporate tax rates such as Great Britain and Ireland. The EU solution is to destroy globally competitive business environments. The EU Commission is determined to go down this path. If countries like Britain and Ireland want to have a globally competitive environment in which to create business, jobs and wealth, which we do more successfully than the rest of the EU, then we must leave an EU which is intent on extending control into taxation. The report also welcomes the Commission's recently published anti-tax avoidance package. I should point out that the legal systems of England and Scotland place fiduciary duties on company directors to make reasonable measures to minimise tax. Just as every individual is entitled to arrange their affairs in such a way as they do not pay any more tax than is absolutely necessary. General repression will be difficult to interpret, which will give the state a large stick with which to intimidate ordinary taxpayers. These rules will not be used against the large corporates, as is claimed. They will be used by the state against those individuals who cannot afford expensive lawyers to deal with them or to defend themselves. It would be better to simplify the tax system so that the ordinary taxpayer can be certain of his or her tax liability rather than a layer of complexity with anti-avoidance rules that will scare ordinary people into paying more tax. Only today I voted in vain to stop the committee from proposing an EU tax identification number. We know where this is going. The EU is too, the EU is too scared to tell us before our Brexit referendum but the EU wants to tax British citizens directly if we are mad enough to remain within the European Union. In fact, the report recommends an EU-wide withholding tax and an EU tax policy of coherence and coordinating centre. We're talking about a European tax centre in Europe. And worst of all, a global register of all assets held by individual companies and trusts. This, no doubt, in anticipation of an EU-wide wealth tax on aspirational citizens. This will do more to cause Brexit, and I will do my level best to alert the British public, public of this threat to aspirational citizens who want to prove, improve their families' lives and create business and create jobs. This is a socialist, authoritarian measure and appalling, and will lead to Brexit. So I hope the British people will be alert to this nonsense. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. If, if, if that is the case, we will miss you. You will miss our money, uh, sir. You will miss our money as you go spectacularly possible no, 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 no. with your useless euro. No, no, no.